Hey guys, this is Carly with Johnny32. So here's a video of encouragement to get the body of Christ to come together and pray for um, you know celebrities and people in Hollywood. But before I share this message, I just want to let you guys know that I am not a prophet. I'm not an apostle. I'm not a woman pastor either. In fact, women pastors are not biblical. I'm just a fumbling servant of the Lord who's here to share what the Lord shares with me based on his truth, which is his Bible and only his Bible and in spirits. I am spirit filled. I do hope and pray to be led by the Lord at all times because remember we are to walk in the spirit and not the flesh. I do uh, have uh, I do speak in, um, in tongues and I have other prophetic gifts. A lot of Christians are walking with that prophetic anointing. That in itself is biblical because the Lord wants us to worship him in truth and in spirit. Uh, you know, I hear how, I, I get messages from Christians that they are telling me how the Lord is speaking to them through visions and dreams and messages in their hearts or in their spirits, or just even hearing his voice. So my friends, God is prophetically speaking to so many people. It is biblical for more knowledge on the prophetic gifts and, and walking in the prophetic. Please read the book of Acts chapter two and the book of, um, of 1 Corinthians chapters 12 to 14. The Lord has been saying for weeks now that he wants us to be cemented on his truth and his Holy Spirit at all times 24 7 to seek the Lord's face voice presence word and Holy Spirit and to grab your journals so you can write down the prophetic messages that God wants to speak to you directly again the Lord is speaking to so many so if you have any questions regarding today's video please go to Jesus and wait for the Lord's revelation and confirmation Okay, so here's the thing. So um, as you can see in this ad, I released this ad back in September. Two, about two months ago, give or take, the Lord pressed in my spirit to pray for celebrities. And just if I remember correctly, Justin was the first one that he pressed in my heart. You know, he's given me dreams, you know, uh, about Justin and, and many other artists, how we have to, you know, pray for them, okay? He's been one, Kanye West, Bruce Jenner, Kim Kardashian. And talking to other Christians, the Lord has also given them dreams to pray for for celebrities. I mean, the Lord will speak in many different ways, my friends. So, you know, uh, we just have to, you know, have a, a humble and contrite heart and uh, be receptive to what God wants to reveal to us because only God knows what's happening in their lives or God will, or God wants, uh, you know, us to pray for the things that God wants to pray for them, you know? So anywho, um, so yeah, so Justin, among many others, he has pressed my spirit, uh, you know, and those that are walking in the prophetic, many of us are truth and spirit believers. We see and we have our spiritual eyes. We see what's happening behind the scenes, you know? In order to be walking in the prophetic, in order to be a truth and spirit believer, you have have to be born again okay those that are not born again those that do not know Christ or Christians that are not spirit filled uh, they can't see what's happening in the prophetic they can't see what's happening in the spiritual realm okay and th the truth of the matter the truth of the matter is is that many of these celebrities whether they're musicians or artists actors or even sports figures or even politicians people that have you know uh, who are in places of, of uh, fame fortune money a lot of these people okay majority of them they have sold their souls to the enemy okay uh, they have sold their souls you know through contracts to get all, all this fame fortune and money and unfortunately many of them already locked in in these contracts and it's hard for them to leave but see Jesus Christ can set them free, okay? And I know God's heart, and if this is confirmation for you, if God has placed in your heart to pray for Hollywood, you know, keep on contending. There is power in prayer. Yes, we do recognize that Hollywood is, uh, it is, uh, it has demonic strongholds. There's a lot of satanic rituals and satanic organizations, the Illuminati, the New World Order, all these satanic organizations. But listen, I'm not worried about these satanic organizations because as a Christian, we as Christians, we know the Bible says that greater is he who's in Christ than he in the world. And we have the prophetic anointing. God will open up our spiritual eyes and ears. We can cast out demons. We can pray in tongues. We can interpret the interpretation of tongues. Um, we can, uh, you know, by the, by the, in the name of Jesus, we can lead people to Christ and and the Lord have, can heal them and we can prophesy. These are all these beautiful prophetic gifts so we can minister to people whether they're celebrity or not but it's for us to minister and to walk in the anointing and to cry out to the Lord to decimate the powers of darkness in Hollywood or in a, in a record studio or even in our jobs or even in, 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 our, uh, in our government. Wherever God leads us to be, we have the power in the anointing. The word of God is the most powerful weapon in on earth. It's not going to be a, a a gun or a knife. It is the word of God that the powers of darkness, the devil has to flee in the name of Jesus. Okay, so just like Justin, you know, God wants us to pray for Justin. He wants us to pray for Kanye. Uh, you know, I I mentioned uh, a while back that, you know, I saw Kanye West. I, I was in my prayer room right 
right here and I was praying for people and the Lord pressed in my spirit Kanye West and the Lord showed me as I was praying he gave me a quick vision and I saw poor Kanye with a black cast iron uh, collar on his neck and attached to it was this huge black cast iron chain, thick chain that was being yanked on uh, his neck, his head and his neck was being yanked. And the one who was yanking it was the devil, the devil himself. Okay. Satan himself. And when the Lord showed me that I, and I saw Kanye's face. And he was trying to, you know, shift his face left and right, and he couldn't because every time he tried to shift it, the, the the devil was yanking the chain, and it was obvious this man was tormented. I wept, and just like him, a lot of our celebrities are tormented. Okay, um, so it is imperative, my friends. You know, we as the body of Christ, and even non-believers, listen. Uh, if you are a non-believer and you're living in pain and brokenness and emptiness. I was just like you three and a half years ago, and I had to be on the brink of suicide for Jesus Christ to save me and for me to know that God is real. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're living in chains of addiction, of strongholds, of drug abuse, uh, of sexual promiscuity, anything that's holding you back, my friends, I'm here to love on you. I'm here to say God can set you free. Send me an email. I will pray for you and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to break your chains, break your curses, break your strongholds, break any generational curse, any witchcraft, anything that's not of the Lord, for the Lord Jesus Christ to break it and set you free because God, Jesus Christ came here to give us life abundantly. And that's what I want for, for you. That's what I want for these celebrities. These children are also... They are, they are of the Lord, okay? All children are of God, but unfortunately, they're doing things of the enemy, so their father is of the devil. But there's a God named Jesus Christ who is asking the body of Christ to pray, intercede, stop throwing stones. God already knows their sin. God knows that they're promiscuous. God knows that they have strongholds. God knows that they that they blaspheme and, and they disrespect and they're immoral. God already knows, but it is God for God, to, it's for the Lord to judge and it's for our job to pray. God, have mercy on them. Lord, they don't know. Forgive them, for they don't know what they do, God. Lord Almighty, I pray that you will set them free, God. Remove their chains. Remove their scales. Remove anything that's not of you, Lord. Cast out their demons, Jesus. They, 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 they're your child, and they are broken. Fill them up with your Holy Spirit, and have your way in their life, God. We bless them. We pray for them. Set them free, Lord, in the name of Jesus. That is our prayer, my friends. And I'm telling you, a while back, uh, last year, the Lord uh, showed me that Hollywood, uh, this was uh, September of last year, He, the Lord spoke to my spirit right here in my prayer room. He said that from Hollywood to Hollywood, okay, that they will see it was the wood of the cross where Christ died for them because he loves them too, okay? My friends, this is what we're supposed to be doing. The Bible says in 2 Peter 3, 9, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Sentence, okay, Titus 2:11. For the grace of God has appeared that uh, has appeared that offers salvation to all people. And John 3:17. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world for Him. Listen, we saw uh, just a few days ago. We saw Kanye West had a, had a had a, apparently he was taken to a hospital uh, to be checked on, etc. I I told you and I and I shared these posts. How about the Kardashians? God loves the Kardashian. Yes, he loves Kim Kardashian. Yes, he loves Bruce Jenner, my friends. He, the Lord has praised parts of my spirit to pray for these people and he loves them. He loves all people, my friends. He loves the wicked. He loves the sinner. He loves the, the, the pagan, the heathen, the, the, the Freemason. God loves the people, but he detests their sin. It's an, their sin is an abomination in, our, in the Lord's eyes, but it doesn't mean that we give up on them. You know, the Lord told me several months ago, he said, never give up. Don't give up on them. I never give up on you, my friends. Look at us. Look where we are right now. There's many of us in the church, many lukewarm in the church. There are many Christians right now that might be watching this video. You're practicing your sin, whether it's fornication, whether it's masturbation, whether it's pornography, whether it's adultery, whether it's stealing or word cursing or having envy or unforgiveness in your heart. And, and if you're watching this video and you have any sin in your heart, God hasn't given up on you. The fact that you may be watching this video, the fact that I'm doing this video, it's because it's God's grace. It's God's mercy. It's God's love. Say, child, I love you. Get it right. Child, I love you. Repent. Child, I love you. Sin no more. That is God's grace, my friends. So we have to humble ourselves before the Lord. And when we look at the sinner, we look at the 
pagan. We look at the Freemason. We look at the wicked, perverse leader. Our, our hearts are supposed to be like the Lord's our God. Give me your heart. Give me your eyes. Give me your ears to love, to minister your people, not to throw stones, my friends. You know what? If you are watching this video and you are a Christian like myself, I got here. I, I got, I, I, I got, I'm in this place because of God's grace. Because someone prayed for me, my friends. Someone prayed for you. Now it's our turn to pray for those that have been discarded. The ones that, oh, there's no hope for them. Oh, there's no salvation for them. That's a lie from the pits of hell. We are to snatch their, we are to snatch them out of the fire because it's about souls. The devil wants people's souls, whether it's mine or yours or Hollywood or anyone else. And God wants their souls to come to heaven, my friends. We don't want anyone to go to hell because it's a place of everlasting pain and torment. It, that hell was designed for demons, my friends. And our heart is to get every person to come to Jesus Christ. All right, listen, in conclusion, I just want to leave you with this. Revival is coming. Only the Lord knows it's in his timing. All right, but there's a new season. You know, there's a, a, the Lord showed me uh, months ago, I believe it was almost a year ago, he showed me that there's a new tide coming in, a new tide that the people were going to be fed up with their worldly ways and the new tide of kingdom ways was coming upon on this nation. God's been showing me revival. He showed me back in October, September of last year of, uh, of stadiums being full, you know, and that's what we got to contend for. So while this the, this battle, the spiritual battle of, of good versus evil is, is so thick right now, it's so strong right now, we need to step up, my friends. Our nation is battling right now, even though we had an election two weeks ago. Even though the Lord gave us the victory of Donald Trump as our president, does not mean that we, we just sit back and relax. We got to contend for God's agenda. Revival in this nation. Revival in this world. You know, we got to pray that all souls are saved in Hollywood. All the souls are saved across this nation and around the world in the name of Jesus. My friends, this is not the time to sit back. Look what happened to our nation. Look what's happening now to our nation. All this division. All this hatred. All this promiscuity. All this, all these, the, the chaos the racism, all these, uh, you know, instigation, in, all these problems that are being instigated by our corrupt, perverse uh, government leaders. It's because the church has dropped the ball and my prayer has been for months and I say, God, set your church on fire for you, that we have to rise up, that we got to worship the Lord in truth and in spirit, that we will no longer turn a blind eye over uh, on wickedness, that we rebuke with power and authority in the name of Jesus, that we're going to be that light by being holy, by being spotless, by being pure my friends because unfortunately many in the church are a bunch of hypocrites and God is tired with the hypocrisy. God is tired with the sin. God is tired with the, the, the self-righteousness, the wickedness, the perversion, the Freemasonry, the, the perdition, the corruption in the church. And it is time that the church becomes holy. It is time for the church to repent because if we are contending for revival, God is looking for righteous vessels, not dirty ones. So my friends, I want you to know, I want you to be encouraged, okay? You are a child of God and I speak life over you, over your calling, over your purpose, over your ministry. May God bless you. May God increase the prophetic anointing over your life. I speak life, truth, and blessings over, over you and that God will have his way. Surrender to God. Stop negotiating with the Lord. Stop compromising. Stop running away from your calling. There are people that need to get saved. We want to see the glory of God over this nation, over this earth in the name of Jesus. And it's going to take an army of God, warriors of the Lord, who are going to stand up for truth, stand up for righteousness, and say, God, have your way. We want to see your glory, Lord. Show up and show off, Lord Jesus, on this nation and around the world. So I hope you've been blessed. I hope this has encouraged you and I'll try to be posting more videos in the hours and days to come. Listen, pray for them. Okay. Let's contend for God's plans. Okay. You know, let's, let's ask the Lord to have this way on these celebrities. Let them set, let the Lord set them free. And what it takes is for us to pray for them. Okay. Take care. God bless. Love you all. Bye-bye.